eye-opening. It's one way to describe a small exhibit at Valley River Center in Eugene this weekend, and it's just a sliver of a bigger display on the South Oregon coast telling the story of how plastic is destroying our oceans. Bandon, Oregon is known for its beautiful beaches. They are one of the many reasons people live here and one of the many reasons people visit. And just like the waves, people come back again and again. But inside a small building in Old Town, something critical to those beaches and others around the world is taking shape and the world is taking notice. When I got this idea, I felt like this is a global project. Angela Hazeltine Posey is using art to raise awareness and create conversation about what's washing up on those beaches. We have processed uh, uh, over 10 tons of garbage from just the southern Oregon coast into about 24 sculptures. Two huge jellyfish made from plastic bottles, a seahorse with sand shovels for a mane, a sea lion made of soles of shoes, and a starfish that's interactive. <laughs> stirring up that conversation and creativity. Angela is the conceptual designer of the sculptures. A teacher for 30 years, she says this is what she was meant to do. In three short years, her idea to spread awareness through art has grown into the nonprofit Washed Ashore, and indeed, they are making a difference. If you stroll Bandon's beaches, you realize this community works together, picking up what's washed up and they're mostly free of debris but there's so much more out there and no matter what you pick up one day there's going to be more the next day in fact it's estimated there is 11 million tons of garbage in the north pacific alone she says collecting it once it reaches shore is not the solution the real difference that has to be made is people stop using so much plastic for everything and single-use plastics because that's the stuff that stays around forever. <laughs> Where many practice reduce, reuse, recycle, at Washed Ashore they preach reduce, reuse, refuse, yeah, yeah. recycle. We created this thing that is durable and lasts forever. That's the problem. It's durable and lasts forever. And now it's filling up our whole world. One of Angela's favorite quotes comes from Margaret Mead, a pioneer in anthropology. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Yeah. Yeah. Angela and her small, thoughtful, committed team are no doubt changing the world using bottles, flip-flops, sculptures, and Bandon's beautiful beaches to spread awareness about what's about to wash ashore on the world's beaches. Now, the efforts by those at Washed Ashore are paying off. Monday on KEZI 9 News at 630, we're going to show you how their message is spreading worldwide with the help of a huge new partner. Plus, kids are helping put those sculptures together, and you can too. In the meantime, now through Sunday, a Sea Life sculpture from Washed Ashore is on display at Valley River Center in Eugene, and you can find it at Center Court. For more information, go to Washed Ashore.